In this video, we're going to see how to create this effect, this dim tilt fly in. We'll also look at a dim tilt fly out, one of which will be a three step method for the dimmer. That's a little bit cleaner result. And the other will be a two step method that's a little bit easier to build out. So first for the three step method, it's actually just three steps on the dimmer. We're going to select our fixtures and then we're going to set our tilt values. Go to position, go to our tilt. And we want to start with our high value, so we'll go to our presets and we will do crowd. Then we want to create a second step over here in the bottom right. And for this step, we are going to go to our stage. So let's say downstage wide. And there goes our effect. Next, let's go back to step one and we're going to go to our dimmer values. We'll come back to our position in just a second to adjust width values, but we'll go ahead and set up dimmer real quick. So step one is going to be dimmer at zero. Step two, we're going to bring the dimmer to full. And step three, we'll bring the dimmer back to zero. So let's go back to our position real quick and we'll start adjusting our widths. So we're going to go to step one, go to our width, and then in our tilt value, we're going to say 170. And then for step two, this will be 30. Notice that these values add up to equal 200. So we want each step to be 100%, so to speak. So with two steps in here, we need these to equal 200 to keep in sync with our dimmer values. That's all we need for our tilt. So let's go back to our dimmer. We'll start with step one again, and we are going to set the width for step one on our dimmers to 10. We'll make sure the transition is set to 100. We'll go to step two. We'll set our transition here to 20. And our width on step two to 140. Now I'll finish up with step three. While we're in width, we'll go ahead and set 50. So right now we have a width of 10 on step one, a width of 140 on step two, and a width of 50 on step three. So this adds up to our 200, which will keep everything up here in sync once we resync everything. The last thing is to check our transition on step three. We need to make this 20. And so your graph should look something like this up here. As the fixtures start to fly out, the dimmer will come on, stay on, and then drop out just before they tilt back to their home position. So real quick, let's slow them down. And notice they are out of sync, so we'll come down here to the bottom left. We'll click sync to turn it off and then turn it back on. And now your effect should be working as intended. Last, we can shuffle, 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 come up here to our phase, and phase them out. Now, if I want to save this, I can come over here and long click one of our presets. And now I have this dim tilt fly out. So let's clear out and do the two-step method. Same thing, we'll grab our flown fixtures. We'll start with our position information. So we wanna start with the fixtures on stage, so we'll say downstage wide. And then position two is going to be our crowd. So now we're tilting out into the crowd. We can go ahead and set our width for these while we're here. 
So the width on one is going to be 170 again. And the width on two will be 30. Again, notice that these add up to be 200 because we have two steps. Now we'll go to our dimmer. For step one, we want to go to our dimmer absolute value and say 100. And then go to step two, and we're going to turn it off, so zero. Now we can mess with our transition and width. So with this one, we're going to leave both of the widths at 100. We'll come to our transition. We'll make step two 55. And then we'll make step one 40. And notice we get that same kind of graph layout where the fixtures turn on as they are tilting and then turn back off right before they reset. So we'll go to our speed, we'll slow them way down, we'll resync everything, and you should see that these start at the top, slowly come on. and then slowly fall. And right before they hit the bottom, they'll slowly start to fade back out, and then reset. Same thing, we can shuffle, 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 go to our phase, and separate them out. And last, we can store this to reuse it later.